Hi, and welcome to Study Island. My name is Crystal, and today I'll be walking you through how to create a class. Classes are simple ways for you to group your students, and you can group your students in whatever way you would like. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and click on the teacher page, and then I'm going to choose to add new class. You'll first give your class a title, and this is how you and your students will identify your class. If you have multiple classes, you'll want to be intentional here and make sure that the title makes sense for you and your students. So I'm going to start with what I like to do first, which is the year, my name, and then the type of class. Next, I'll choose any co-owners. Co-owners are teachers or administrators that you would like to have access to your class. By giving them access to your class, they have access to add assignments, manage your uh, students' progress by looking at reports and through Edmentum Sensei. They are not able to edit any class properties, such as adding students to your class or removing students from your class or deleting any of your assignments. You can add up to 10 co-owners. And personally, I like to add a substitute teacher to my class so that when, if a sub comes in, I have someone who can get into my class without giving out my login credentials. Once you're done, you'll hit update co-owners. Then you'll move to the school preferences. School preferences are um, set by your administrator and the administrator can disable or enable the, the process of, of overriding the school preferences. If you are able to get into the school preferences, you'll just choose yes here. And then you can go ahead and change those preferences. We have allow game mode, hide timer, enable scratch pad, enable additional highlighters, and enable building block. Two things I'm gonna call out here is the game mode. Game mode is a way for students to practice their questions. Once students get the question correct, they're able to play a game that lasts 45 seconds to one minute. Your options under game mode are is to yes, allow, no, do not allow, no, during school hours, and yes, if a certain percentage is correct. Also, building blocks are a way for your students to remediate in topics that they score 40% or below on. Once you choose those options, you'll move to selecting your students. Under select students, you'll see the grade levels which are uploaded to your account. You can select an entire grade level by checking the box to the left of the grade level. You could also select individual students by hitting the plus on the right side of the grade level and choosing the students you would like to have in your class. You can have as many students as you would like from as many grade levels as you would like. But when you're done, you'll choose save. You'll see a green note that the class was created, and then you can move to creating any class assignments. Watch out for our next video, which will cover how to create class assignments.